am a, a member of parliament which is a very disadvantaged area and I am also a minister in Uganda responsible for relief, disaster preparedness and, and refugees. Uh, I am first of all Paul and uh, my brother very happy that you have spared your time to come and get a feel of the problems that obtain here. This area has been characterized with a lot of challenges and those challenges arise from the disasters that have affected this place and those disasters have been twofold. One type of disaster has been majorly uh, natural. This place was swept by floods which destroyed all the food crops of the communities and destroyed the houses of the people. As if that was not, a, this was on the hills of the destruction that was occurred by the cattle rustlers and the rebel a group called the Lord's Resistance Army that was marauding this place, abducting children and raping women. Now, at one point, everybody here had run away uh, for safety. But we sorted out that problem and the community came back. Now, my program is to work with people of goodwill and charities to resuscitate life here. And what, that's why I was very pleased when I pleaded to government to cause an access road here. So after the road was opened, we are now looking at possibilities of constructing flood-resistant houses here, flood-resistant houses here. But the challenge that confronts the population is health delivery. On their own, they have decided to donate this piece of property that I look around for any person of goodwill to get resources to put up a health facility here. They want a health facility here. They also would wish to have an ambulance here so that the mothers here can be managed very well and in the event that the complication is such that it cannot be handled here, then that ambulance can take advantage of the road that is now available and whisk them to a place where they can be given better attention. So the community itself has donated this piece of property. We will not be buying it. We will only be developing it. So that is the challenge that is here. And I'm very, very proud of these people. You can see in their faces certainly a lot of suffering. But the, the beauty about them is also that there is a lot of hope. With what is happening, there is a big sense of renewed hope here. They think we should be able to do a few things. And I'm very optimistic that the future is very bright. Well, we're very honored to be here with you today, sir, and I appreciate your time. And we're happy to help you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Thank you. sir. Good.